Hello, and welcome back to Tommy's Top Shelf Comics. I'm Tommy, joined by Murphy. Hello. We missed last week, Murphy. Last week's yeah. comics were next week's comics two weeks ago, <laughs> and now they're last week's comics. We didn't we even talk it. about them. We missed it. Well, yeah. <laughs> that was that was like mostly my fault. No, it was equal parts. <laughs> equal parts. Murphy uh, is a married man now. Congratulations! I am married, and we had we had full blown lightsaber battles. We at did. Our wedding. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Uh, Murphy went and went on his honeymoon, and then I went home and had COVID for a week. And uh, I I hosted the last super spreader event of uh, the uh, health emergency. Yeah. So but yeah, I, who was like, oh, it's done, and then we were like, oh, everybody's no. positive. Yeah. 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 That was so that was yeah. fun. I, I did try and record it twice. I rec- tried Monday and I tried Tuesday. And then I looked at and w- as I was watching it back to edit it. Uh, not that I do that much editing, but uh, I was just watching it back and I was like, I look like death. It this is should like, not like well. when uh, <laughs> that one day I was so hungover playing Gotham Knights that you couldn't find a good snapshot. <laughs> that was a good week. Too. Well, we're we're back on track we're back now. On track. Though. We shouldn't be missing any more weeks anytime soon. No, not anytime soon. Um, but let's dive into it. Yeah, because this week's we comics got, we got, are here. Tomorrow, this week's today. comics are, in fact, this week's comic. A uh, little honorary mention before we get too deep into it. Uh, Dawn of the DC Primer. If you have been curious about the DC Universe and wanted to hop in, try it out, Mainly, maybe you mainly read Marvel or you mainly read Image, uh, but are curious about DC, ask when you go to your comic shop this week, look for this one. It's a free special edition issue that kind of just gives you a primer on Dawn of DC. There's also, really especially, cool books. especially with Dawn of DC, all these number ones and yep. they're, you know, switching up the status quo. This is a good thing to have. I didn't even know this was coming out. Yeah, it's, it's awesome that they're, they're they they usually that. do this. There's like there's one for the new fifty two and rebirth and stuff like that. They usually do yeah. something like and sometimes there's like sometimes these end up actually holding some value. So do take care of it. Just as you would any other comic. Might as well. Might as well grab it. Well, let's get into our top five. Our five this week is the Avengers number one. Assemble, Assemble! <laughs> Jed McKay. Jed. Or do you want, right, you want to do this one or I'll do it? I'll yeah, do it. I missed, I missed. I missed. I missed two. Points. All right. <laughs> All right. Jed McKay and Stormbreaker CF Villa take the reins of Earth's mightiest heroes: mm-hmm. the Star, the Icon, the Witch, the Construct, the God, the Engineer, the King. Yeah. The world is ever in peril, and a new team of Avengers mobilizes to meet any dangers that dare threaten the planet. But when Terminus attacks, a new and insidious danger rears its head. One that the Avengers know all too well, and one that comes to them in the most dangerous of guises, that of a friend. I feel like the Avengers I, always gets me. Like when when they have they have a new number one every couple of years. But I'm ready for this one. Yeah. I, I I've talked to you guys about this the last Avengers run plenty. Right. Right. And I burned out so hard, like it it lost me thirty issues before I was done pulling it, you know. <laughs> And I still kept doing it. I kept trying, but I am excited for the reboot. Yeah. And the new team is pretty sweet. Yeah. Jed McKay is going to be. Jed McKay is going to be awesome. He's doing a lot of things at Marvel. Yeah. Yeah, he is. I mean, they they're kind of giving him, you know, whatever he wants now. Yeah. Which we see every couple of years. But then CF Villa, too. I hit awesome yeah i've i've been super uh like excited about his art um so i i'm happy the the new i avengers, did like that black cat run he did oh yeah yeah um but the avengers reboot couldn't have happened at a better time because i was ready for it just to keep also, you going gets, a little bit longer yeah also it gets me another uh john tyler christopher negative space variant that that does. wasn't an exclusive, true, <laughs> so true. um, I'm pretty pumped for this one, especially having uh, Captain Falcon on the team. Yeah, that is interesting. That's cool. Yeah, that's, that's cool. cool. Well, moving on All to our right, number so four we'll this on. week, our image number one, Arcade Kings. 
Skybound. Image number one. (laughs) Uh, Round one, fight. Joe, a mysterious new face in the Infinity City, has suddenly become the hottest new player at the Roundhouse Arcade. Anyone can challenge him, but no one can win. But Joe's secret past is about to catch up to him when his most formidable challenge yet rolls into town, forcing Joe to combo his powers with a joystick, his fists, and his fighting family legacy. Writer and artist Dylan Burnett unveils a new prestige comic series sensation perfect for fans of Invincible and Murder Falcon. Ooh. Did not read I, Murder Falcon. I, I, I did not I read do Murder like Falcon. Invincible. <laughs> I do like Invincible as well. I just um, thought this sounded really I don't know. Cool. It, it seems really fun. Uh, I It just keeps reminding me. I don't know why. It might not even have anything to do with it. Do you remember the video game Beautiful Joe? Yeah, for absolutely. Like GameCube? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm like the vibe I'm getting. Very kind much of so. from like Very much his, so. you know, his mask and everything. Yeah. Um, which I haven't played that game in forever. Got to do that. But uh, no, I mean, it, it seems like a fun story. And Skybound, man, it, they always, you know, Image might be knocking it out the park all the time, but like Skybound, everything that comes out of Skybound is good. Yeah, I mean, when you see the Skybound logo on an Image book, that's it does draw my yeah. attention. It is yeah, prestige it, format, so it's 48 pages at $8, but so it's kind of like you're getting two issues at once, which is kind of cool. Yeah, which, I mean, I'm down for that. Like, I, I don't have many eight dollar books so i'll always pick one up yeah especially if it's image and skybound like yeah. uh, you know robert kirkman's not letting stuff come out that isn't fun you know and good no so i i am definitely ready for this one also the art looks awesome it really does all right moving on to our number three this week house of slaughter 15 So in the final issue of the third story arc, Jace will have to make a difficult choice between vengeance and rescuing Sonny from the white masks. But just as Sonny has to deal with the monster within, Jace unleashes his rage in a more terrifying way than the children have ever witnessed. Now, this one, I don't know. Are you up to date on House of Slaughter? I'm... I think I'm on 13. I think I just have the last issue to catch up on. Yeah. I like... I mean, I like the story i mean how they're following jace now especially after aaron's death you know in something is killing the children yeah and then i mean all the stuff they're doing now to show just more of the the butchers is awesome so i i'm super past. yeah yeah and just to learn more it's it's also starting to kind of meld things together because the black mask from the one shot or the white mask from the one shot who is now becoming the black mask of the house of slaughter is training with the butchers because there are no black masks at the house of slaughter to train her. Interesting. Okay. So she pops up in the last issue and it's, it's really starting to get to the point where it looks like they're, you know, they're finding that melding point between nice. the two books nice um which i'm excited about and it house of slaughter has done a good job of filling out the rest of the world while something is killing the children just hits us with the erica slaughter story oh for sure yeah yeah yeah, yeah so every issue of house of slaughter to me has been yeah you know is awesome and then after this one it'll probably be a good Hopefully they'll give us another, you know, mask that we learn about. Yeah, we'll probably have a pause for a little bit. I don't think we have solicitations for 16. But yeah, I mean, the first arc was Jace. Yeah. Then the second arc was the Scarlet Masks. Right. Then the third arc was Jace again. So I wonder if so we go back to Scarlet Mask. Or... Maybe we go back to another mask. Yeah. You know. I can see it. It'll yeah. it, I'm I'm ready for it though. Anything it's, in this it's world, been a sweet just, story. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Moving on to our number two this week. We got Batman the Brave and the Bold. The Winning Card, Part One. Down with the Kings, Part One. Order of the Black Lamp, Part One. And Heroes of Tomorrow. It's an anthology book. 
<laughs> you got a big one. <laughs> Coming off the spectacular success of Batman One Bad Day, the Riddler, the Eisner Award winning team of Tom King and Mitch Gerards reunite for a horrifying four part retelling of the first bloody clash between the Joker and the Batman, a tale of loathing, lies, and laughter. This may be the most frightening Joker story in a generation. Superstar artist Dan Mora makes his writing debut, kicking off a new series of, a Bat- of Batman black and white short stories, which I always love, um, in a Gotham city overrun by the cybernetic henchman of the Joker. The only person who can save us is the mysterious motorcycle riding bat costumed hero of urban legend. Who is that? Wonder who. <laughs> the Justice League may be gone, but its enemies aren't. Who will protect the world from the worst of the worst? Ed Bryson and Jeff Spokes pick up the story started in the Wildstorm 30th anniversary special as director Bones and his new covert Stormwatch team travel a globe on Black Ops missions to take superpowered weapons of mass destruction off the board. But this is a Stormwatch and as always, not all is as it seems. Down with the Kings starts here. These are all the synopsis of all the like you know <laughs> little individual parts of the anthology book. The last one in the Order of the Black Lamp Part One from writer Christopher Cantwell, uh, the an artist Javier Rodriguez. Superman finds a Dakota ring with a secret message: "Save me," which sends him on a quest to solve a mystery with ties to the Man of Steel's past. So yeah, this this I, book seems like it a lot. seems cool. Yeah, it it's gonna be the big. I mean, it's an anthology series, so right. I think we're gonna get some first appearances out of this whole story too. Maybe. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. You think? Um, yeah, I think that they're specifically with that first one, the uh, Tom King the. Yeah, like the overarching. Uh, I, I, we gotta forgive him one day. No, we gotta, we gotta forgive to, him. Murphy. I don't have like, to. You don't he have to. But we gotta live with he it. Took we him gotta away, live. and we don't have him back. <laughs> but we, we will have to live with it. <laughs> Comic book heroes come back, Murphy. How long has it been? <laughs> I know, but I, so I think that uh, from what I've read, we're getting some first appearances out of. Tom King, you know, mm-hmm. he might have taken away Alfred, but may have. They <laughs> may have, but he's trying to redeem it. Um, but no, that I mean, I think that story specifically is gonna be huge. Yeah. Uh just it's the retelling of, you know, the Joker starting, which is always gonna be pretty crazy. And then we have Dan Mora writing. Yeah. What? That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I wonder if he's going to do art too. Does it? Yeah, it says he's a writer and an artist. So yeah, that's sweet. I'm I'm a ready lot for of that. the. If you go back and have you read the black and white series? Yeah. Okay. Because yeah, a yeah. lot of those are writer artists. Same. Yeah, and Dan Mora, I love. I like. I love what he does with with the Power Rangers and mm. every like everything he's on. Um. So you know, we've talked a lot about how images. I mean, these independent comics have given you know, artists, the chance to write, you yeah. know, we're Zadarsky fans. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I'm, I'm always down when an artist gets his chance to their chance to write the story too. Absolutely. Um, so I think this one's going to be big. And then also we did get the announcement for the brave and the bold movie. Yeah. Which I think is going probably not going to be like this. No. It's supposed to be about him, about Batman learning how to be a father and Batman with Damien. But you never know. They they might tie some stuff in with it. So I think this one's a good one to pick up. Who plays Talia? I don't know. They haven't they haven't said anything yet. I'm just hoping that Pedro Pascal is Batman. Oh, man. Right. You, you tell me he's a father trying to learn how to do it. Like, oh, how many yeah, times has he done that? That's got Pedro Pascal all over it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get my hopes up. Moving on to our number right. one, <laughs> Titans number one, 
Speaking of our Dawn of DC, here we go. Dawn of DC, the big one. This is the big one. Mm -hmm. So it's called Out of the Shadows. The Dark Crisis is over and the Justice League is no more. Now a new team must rise and protect the Earth. Titans, go! The Teen Titans are ready to grow up. Each member joined as a much younger hero, so in the one day they'd be invited to join the Justice League. But the time has come for them not to join the league, but to replace it. Are the no longer teen heroes ready for the big leagues? Danger lurks around every corner as heroes and villains alike challenge the new team before they've even begun. Will the DCU ever be the same? Find out in this landmark first issue brought to you by the all-star creative team of Tom Taylor. Who's he? Who's and that guy? <laughs> Nicola, Nicola Scott. Yeah, this one I'm so ready for. Yeah, this Except is, I'm pretty hyped for this. All of these characters have been set up to do this forever. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, are are they ready to join the big leagues? It's yes. Nightwing, baby. Yeah, like, like he it's, is it's, the big league. <laughs> it's Nightwing. No, this one I'm super pumped for. Like, yeah. And we had talked about it over the last year or so, like the kind of the... Justice League was getting a little stale yeah, recently, yeah. you know? So, I mean, with what they've done to revamp Nightwing. This is a really cool shake. Will Justice League come back? Yes, of course. But yeah, this is course. a really cool temporary shake. Yeah, and with Tom Taylor in charge yeah, of it, too? Yeah, I mean... Dude! Yes, please. Dude! Yeah. Yes, please. More yeah. Tom Taylor. Nightwing is, like, the man. It's it's gonna be It's awesome. about damn time. Well, it's, it's been the time. time. It's been the time. <laughs> but it, I'm glad it's still that time. Now he's he's the big dog. Yeah. You know, I'm um, I'm so ready for it. And Absolutely. and there's not much that needs to be said about this one. This one is just I mean, it's I'm staying it's time. spoiler free as much as I can. Yeah, that's a, this one. I I'm caught up on everything ready to go for it. I do wonder this week also had the cyborg series. I wonder if that'll play into. Oh, it. right. I did see that. Um, wonder this probably. week was loaded. Yeah. You know, everybody listening, like as much as these were the top five and the honorable sixth we put out. It, it was a good week. It was a good week. Pretty loaded with with books. So make sure to be checking out at your, you know, local comic book store what they have. And I mean, there's a lot coming out this week. And yeah. Titans definitely is the one I'm the most ready for. Yeah, me too. Yeah, there's a lot to just hop in on right now. It's a good time yeah. to start. Especially for DC. Yeah. Last week we had a, yeah. like last week we had Green Lantern. Mm -hmm. The week before that was Green Arrow. Before, you know, it's like, yeah. Every, every week a new good jumping on point for DC yeah. is, is coming out. Good time and to this is going to be one of the big ones for sure. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, anything else before well, we. Call it, and this week's comics are last week's comics, and next week's comics are this week's comics. Nope, that's right. about it. Well, I'm just excited we're back. Absolutely, you know we're good. We're 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 done missing weeks. Yeah, we'll be back to our regular, you know, regularly scheduled same content. bad time, same bad channel. Yeah, yeah. same bad YouTube, same bad, bad YouTube, YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, until next week, we will catch you guys later. See ya.